DeepQ, it's an HTC um, care division. Uh, DeepQ stands uh, for using deep architecture quest for cure. Their objective is to extend human life expectancy to 85 in just a decade. And they are integrating virtual uh, reality and artificial intelligence to accomplish it. As an outstanding speaker and being invited at many forums, I would like to invite uh, onto the stage Mr. Lewis Chang, HTC DeepQ Manager. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. One day, have the courage to be king. Yeah, time flew when I grew up. Now I'm ready for the promise that it brings. You only wanted me to screw up, but it's something that you're never gonna see. Hola, good morning, everyone. My name is Louis Chen from HTC Healthcare. Today, I will share how VR is going to make a difference in healthcare. DeepQ stands for using the deep architecture to quest for cure. Our mission is to reshape the future of healthcare through AI, blockchain, and VR. HTC not only develops the best VR headsets, but also create a VR ecosystem. But what is VR? You can interact with the immersive experience. VR will surprise you that the only limitations are your own imagination. This is the movie Ready Play One, directed by Steven Spielberg. Everyone looks for a way to escape from reality by wearing VR headsets and escape to the oasis the virtual world. In the beginning of the movie, VR is just for gaming. But in the end, VR brings all the people around the world together to solve the real problems in reality. So how do we apply to healthcare? Image this. No matter where you are, you're at school, you're at hospital, you're at home, you're at your garage. After you put on HAC Vive, you can uh, go into the medical oasis. And you're not only just one player. You work with more medical professionals to deliver team-based care. So we could start with uh, anatomy. Anatomy is the foundation of healthcare. So this is the first group anatomy lessons painted by the great artist Lindbrand in 1632. So Dr. Top follow the all these anatomy textbook by Vesalis. And Dr. Top show how to dissect the Tadavas to his students. But research found that the origins of the muscles should appear from the lateral epicondyle. However, it's medial epicondyle. Rembrandt paid a lot of attention to the details of anatomical structures, but he still missed this part. What about first-year medical students? What about patients and their family for patient education? For the past 400 years until now, we're still using the same way to teach anatomy. But why is anatomy so difficult to learn? Because not everyone has access to cadaveric materials. It's challenging to understand the relationship between all the structures and the relationship. And it's complex to demonstrate the organ physiology functions. So how do we solve the problem? We'd like to introduce HTC's VR solution with 3D organ. 3D organ is the first VR anatomy app in the world. You can learn human anatomy with accurate contents. You can visualize spatial structure and motions. And you can also increase your learning interest without any distraction, which teachers love the best. So let's join the VR NAP class. You can see all the body systems to your left, and we can select different body systems. It's cardiac, muscular, and we just select the muscular thing. And we can take apart every muscle out of body layer by layer, we can observe the model from different angles. We can even walk inside to the chest to see every details. 
If you don't know what is, we just drag it out. Rotate it to see every details of T7 vertebra with all the description. If you go to the clinic to see a cardiologist, now your cardiologist can show you your heart. So now the heart is beating right in front of you. You can keep going inside the heart to see how valves and tendons work. UCSF is using 3D again to improve learning outcomes. Let's see their feedback. Here at UCSF, we're introducing virtual reality for the first year medical students that corresponds with their first learning block. So when they leave the cadaveric lab, they can immediately come over to the virtual reality lab and they can learn the same material they just saw on the cadaver in a virtual space. In virtual reality, they can go from the skin level all the way down to the bones and take every single layer off as they go, see the relationships, how they're stacked up, how they're aligned, and then when they get to the bones, they can repeat it almost like a puzzle and put all the pieces right back on there, all the way back out to the skin. Today I spent three hours in the anatomy lab and then I went straight from that to working on the virtual reality anatomy lab essentially, where I was able to sort of pull the muscles apart that I had been looking at on the cadavers. I think the cadaver experience is really, you know, integral to our medical education and, you know, Derek and the whole staff does an amazing job of instructing us and taking us through the cadavers and being able to see those muscles on those bodies. But at the same time, you know, it's a little bit difficult to get an entire three-dimensional uh, picture of what's going on. With the VR, it's sort of like a process, you know, where you can build it and rebuild it and I think that sort of helps understand the anatomy a lot better and a much more in-depth experience. To see is to learn. Now we can easily understand how the muscle bicep work. For the elbow joint, for the shoulder joint, for the supination and pronation of elbow joints. Even we're not medical students, but after we go home, all of us all remember these three actions. To see is to believe. To see is to learn. So after we go home, we all remember this. This is not just a concept. 99% of the students agree that studio again can increase their learning interest and also learning effectiveness. And Taipei Medical University builds the world's largest VR anatomy lab to help students understand VR, understand anatomy. And we can also apply to clinical application for patient engagement. One from hospital, build the world's first VR multi-user patient education room. With VR, the doctor can deliver patient consultation easily. And the patient and the family could finally understand what the doctor is talking about. VR is not just for gaming anymore. VR can create values, can make a difference from medical education to clinical education, and save more lives. Thank you, everyone.